Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video. Today guys, we're going to be showing you how to make toxic water in Minecraft Bedrock Edition in 2021. So if you're wondering how you can add a little bit of spice to your water, make sure you stay tuned. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends if you do end up enjoying it. But with that being said... Let's get started. Alrighty guys, so how do you make toxic water? And firstly, what is it? Basically, we've done a video on this in the past. Uh, it was quite a long time ago in which we actually showed you how to make water toxic. So basically, when you go into the water, you take damage. Now, it's been a quite a while since then and we decided to redo the tutorial for 2021 in the modern Minecraft, change it up a bit. So anyway, basically, it uses command blocks and it changes water into toxic water with quotation marks. So if we quickly just go into some water quickly, you're going to see exactly what I mean. So here we got some water. Let me jump into it. Bam, bam, bam. I'm getting the potion effects as you guys can see. And if you were to be in survival, so let's just quickly go to survival quickly. You will see that I start taking damage while I'm in the water. And as soon as I go out, I will be fine. So that is basically the simple summary of how it works as you guys can see and then let's quickly get out and we are fine go back in and we get toxicated by the water so basically think of this as sewage polluted green toxic water if you use the texture pack to give you a green look it would probably look work even better it, you know it would look like actual toxic water and i'm sure there's ways to do it around that but anyway that's the basic gist of what this does so anyway let's show you now how to do it so of course guys you're going to need two command blocks now these two command blocks deal with two different types of water the first one we're looking at is the solid block of water which is basically a block in minecraft that is just solid water no movement whatsoever to do it for that specific type of water it needs to be a repeat unconditional always active and if you go to the physical command itself you're going to see that it says slash execute at A, those little squiggly lines, detect, squiggly, 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 water, zero, effect at S, wither, one, five, true. So copy that exactly, guys, with spaces and everything. And then this is basically going to work for your solid blocks of water. So basically, if you guys are wondering what is your solid water, this is basically what your solid water looks like. It's just water that's standing still with no movement. So if you walk into this now, you will get the effects, as you guys can clearly see. But now we're going to show you the second command block. Now this is for the other type of water that we're going to deal with. So now guys, the other type of water is this type, which is moving water. It's basically just water that has a flow. It's kind of has a gradient as well. It kind of just moves and stuff. So this is just typical water movement. And it's actually seen in Minecraft as a different type of entity. That's why you have to do one for the solid water and then one for the moving water. Now if we go to the command block guys, so anyway guys, now this is the one for the moving water. So if you go into this command block guys, so you're going to see it's a repeat, unconditional, always active, there's no delay in ticks. And then all you're going to have to just do is go into the actual command area and you're going to see it slash execute at A, squiggly lines, detect, squiggly lines, water 3, effect at S, wither 1.15, true. Now the difference between this and the other one is basically where the 3 is. Now guys, there's actually multiple different types of moving water and we're going to show you why right now so this one basically is just the first one we're gonna do which is for three so look at the three letter there and that's basically what you need to know but there's actually different types as well and we're gonna show you why because there's actually multiple different types of moving water so say for instance we go over here so we're gonna quickly show you here guys now we're gonna start off with on the right which is the solid water we talked about earlier um solid block right there the flat one is basically the ones that are flat you are definitely the solid blocks now as you can see we are we're getting potion effects but if we start moving on to the left, you're going to get to an area where it's moving water. It's not solid water, but it also is not giving you uh, wither effects. So now you're probably wondering, okay, well, well the commands block is not working. Why is that the case? Well, actually, guys, if you move a little bit more to the left, you will start to see that we're going to pick up the effect again. And this is because there is different types of moving water. The moving water we're above right now is different from the one on the right to us and also on the left. So to actually make sure that you have every bit of water covered, you're actually going to have to start moving up in the command block. And we're going to show you what, you what we mean now. So now this is optional, guys. But if you want every single piece of water to be covered with the toxicity, what you're going to need to do is make multiple command blocks of this specific one right here. The only difference is, guys, you're going to have to change the area where it says 3. And then you're going to make one that says for 4. You're going to put one with 5. You're going to put one with 6. 7, 8, 9, all the way about up to, we're not too sure of the exact number, but it's around 16 different types of water. 
So you can just make one from three upwards for all those different types. And then basically most move in water should then correspond to your command locks. So uh, basically now guys, as you can see, we've made a multiple uh, row of command locks. Now you can make this for numbers one up until around 16. And zero is for the solid block and then the rest, if you want to, you can make as many as you want. This just depends on if you're lazy or not guys. If you want every bit of water to cover, then just make one for one, two, three and upwards up until 16. If you're not too fussy and you don't really mind and you just don't mind if only some blocks give it, then you can maybe make it only for three or six or seven, it's up to you. But anyway now guys, now that we've put more command blocks for different moving water, you will see that if we go into this area, now more areas are gonna start to give us the uh, wither effect. So as you can see guys, as we move across, more areas are now starting to give us the effects of the wither. So as you can see, it's a continuous flow and it's not really disappearing, it's continuously giving us five seconds until you get around here and then it stops. So of course, if you put more command blocks, then it would continue, but yeah. So that's basically that, that's how you can make toxic water, guys. Really, you only need one or two command blocks, one for the a solid, if you just wanna do solid water and not even moving water, then you only need one block, guys, just do it for zero. But if you wanna do it for moving water too, then just start making those same command blocks, but just for one, two, three, and only change in the number. So yeah, really simple. If you encounter any problems, just comment down below and we'll try our best to help you. There's really, all you're just changing is the number, so, yeah, it's not really too difficult, but once again, guys, if you encounter any problems, just comment down below, and we'll try our best to help you. But that's basically how you can make toxic water. Combine this with something like a texture pack that or shader pack that makes water green, and then you are really good to go with your toxic water. But anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.